Hi, this is Peter Winter, the director of the Librarian, and it is my pleasure to speak to you about the visual effects on the Librarian, Quest for the Spear, starring Noah Wiley. And you are looking at some of the 310 effect shots, give or take a shot or two. We had to use a lot of tricks, including throwing dummies off a waterfall and uh, computer-generated spears and disappearing people. Basically, we used all the tricks in the book to make it come to life, and we're gonna use two sequences to exhibit that to you. This sequence is a scene where Noah Wiley's character first meets Sonia Waldner's character, who's basically gonna be his bodyguard, and he gets his first dose of adventure. And uh, you're gonna see some animatics that we kind of did the whole sequence with first, because it was the first one we had in our script, and we, it was gonna be the first one we were gonna shoot. Ended up being the last one, of course. But uh, uh, so we wanted to plan it out and make sure everything went well, and so I sit with an animator, and we use these kind of glorified stick figures and basically block the scene. And out of these animatics, we then plan how to shoot it. This is the live action of, a fly, of jumping out of the plane, which is really cool. One of my favorite shots is actually coming up when, when Sonya jumps out. And she jumps out, and then we blend this with a green screen shot of our stunt double, Heather Banta, doing the flips. And then at the end of that shot, she turns into a CG person. So in one shot, you go from your lead actress to your stunt person to your CG stunt person, uh, which is, was kind of cool, and, and, and no one will ever know. Uh, this sequence, it's uh, the bridge sequence. This is the one that uh, we're probably the most proud of, but it also caused us the most pain. Uh, because the sequence, if we were going to shoot it in reality and we had like you know a lot more money, we would find a real location, you know, and build a bridge 150 feet across two cliffs with this giant waterfall behind. But uh, we were in Mexico City and we really didn't have that. So uh, what we did do is we built a bridge six feet high that's about 20 feet long. Again, we used animatics to plan this stuff out. And we put it in the parking lot of our stage with a big green screen around it. And we would shoot our actors and do their dialogue in front of this green screen. And they would perform it all. And they would run 20 feet, and then they'd get to the end, and we would cut. And then we would move that piece of the bridge around and do the second piece of the 20 feet and, and so forth and so on until so we did it all the way across. The second element was this waterfall that's behind him, which Mark Frank, our visual effects supervisor, shot a plate of, although we had to pump up the volume of the water because one side of it was very powerful of white water and the other one was kind of a trickle. So we had to double up the water uh, in compositing. The other element was this bridge, which right now that on the left side of the screen is a real bridge, and the extension of it uh, was a CG bridge. So uh, our artist, Dave Rand, who's our head lead animator, and by the way, I think he's responsible for those wonderful breaths on the animatic. Um, so he's the one who, uh, who created the CG bridge. And we, then we were able to really come up with this cool shot that I was really looking forward to do. It was, I thought it was a very dynamic move, but... Uh, in Mexico, you can't get the most incredible cranes in the world. So instead, we ended up shooting something a little bit more like this. I really didn't think that this would support us. Ah! Flynn! Flynn! Which is still a cool shot. And if you notice down there, that's this all CG background that they're looking down to because otherwise that's a green screen. And he's about six feet off the ground and the camera here is like right on the ground looking up at his feet and Noah's really kind of bringing his legs up to make it seem like he's a little bit higher up. So you take all these elements and you're able to put together a sequence like this that uh, makes it seem, you know, that you're in the middle of a gorge and this bridge is falling apart underneath their feet. I kept telling our producers that, yeah, yeah, it's going to look great, but the artist and I, we never really truly knew until towards the end, and then uh, it tended to work out. And so that's uh, the visual effects. We had a lot of fun doing it, and I hope you had a lot of fun watching it.